Am I blind or am I... Oh, there you are. Hello. Hello. Wee. <laughs> and these are the highly professional and mature fun things we do here. <laughs> so have you watched... Have you watched any of this stream uh, with this factory yet, or before? Nope. Oh, you're in for a treat then. Um, <laughs> that's the one. Um, that's the insert. The words card. The insert of this not working. Oh, let me see. Let me get back there up there. There are five rows of tabs. Dang, when did I start watching you, Wolfie? I think it was back when I saw you were playing X3 AP, I think. That's when most people started watching, yeah. And yes, people still. It was a couple, hmm? a couple of years ago, at least. Hmm. Yeah. People still nag me to start up another X3 run. I will someday. You know, they have a, a Star Wars uh, uh, total conversion mod now. Nah, didn't really like Star Wars. No? Nah. Not a Star Wars fan. Uh, I know, that's well, blasphemy. Star Trek one too, I think. But I'm not sure. I don't know. They just recently updated it too, so I don't know exactly what they changed. Cool. Oh, the robots are done baking. Let's get up there. Have you ever considered playing Dark Souls on stream? Oh my God, no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not falling for that. <laughs> Quick time to a chair. <laughs> <clears throat> so flashiest can get one gigabit for under a hundred bucks a month. You fucker. How I much? get fifteen by three for about seventy, I think. Sixty, seventy. And there's Ugh. no landlines out here, so it's it's yeah. Is that satellite or wireless? Thankfully no. Uh just wireless. Mm. Little dish on the side of the house pointing at a tower nearby. Cool. Satellite sucks. It's way too expensive for what you get. Yeah, and the latency's terrible. They have data caps. Yeah, that yeah. too. They do. My uh, <clears throat> my folks live out in Pahrump, which is about an hour north of Vegas. Mm -hmm. It's where brothels are legal. <laughs> and um, uh, they didn't have any broadband out there when they first moved there, so they got satellite internet. And right about the same time, I showed my dad how to run uh, BitTorrent. And I think a couple of days after that, their internet stopped working. <laughs> and they're like, what the hell? They called them up. It's like, yeah, you've got a bandwidth limit. You went through your your allotment. I'm like, fuck you. Allotment in two days. Yeah, break. Can you break? Well, it was something stupid, like maybe... 50 or 60 gigabytes? It was just... All they got? Something like that. It was under a terabyte. I know that. This would have been... about... eight years ago. But, yeah, it was terrible. They killed that service fast. They went and... I think... some phone company had started doing DSL out there, so they jumped on that. Okay, are these guys actually keeping up now? Yes, they are. No. Yeah, they're catching up. Cool! <laughs> work, my minions, work! Alright, so <clears throat> we just got titanium production up and running before you guys showed up, maybe about an hour ago. So that lets us build most of the Tier 4 stuff. Oh, look at all that titanium! <laughs> the downside is it's Verizon, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, Verizon's trying to kill net neutrality, if I remember. All the ISPs are. Yeah. Actually, not all of them are. Or there's little ones that are for it, but... They're little ones. They don't have a voice in the matter. Hey, Wolfie, in uh, general chat is a picture of uh, our two cats that we have. My wife wanted me to show you. <laughs> oh, they look nice. Let me get a bigger version of that. No, oh, one of them's a calico. Oh, a calico and a torty. Yeah, yeah. Calico's about 11 years old right now. Cool. The other one's only about... Uh, eight or nine? No, I think seven. Seven would be. Hmm. Well, take good care of them. Oh, yeah. I've had them forever, so... We actually just, after Rocky got sick, we're like, fuck this, and we bought health insurance for the other 12. Did you? Yeah, actually, health insurance is a really good go for animals. It costs so much to take them to a vet without it. Have you had a good experience with it? Um, honestly, we haven't found a good insurance for them yet. Oh, okay. But we had a similar circumstance where we, um, my wife had a dog since she was young, and uh, it, 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 she got cancer. And it was about, it was a lot of money for the, the treatments, which would not have even cured it, maybe it extended her life another six months. Nah. So, yeah, it wasn't, it couldn't do it. That's unfortunately where we are. Rocky's got about, yeah, maybe six months to a year. Yeah, fucking sucks. I'm not looking forward to that day. No, it's a sucky time, that's for sure. Anyway, I'm almost done with my download, yay! Woohoo! Well, not really, maybe one third. Why am I playing? That one I haven't played in a while. That uh, that game was fun. You know, they just came out with Alpha 16 and electricity and traps now. Did they? Yeah, you got electricity now. You got spinning blade traps, automatic turrets with an SMG attached. That's Holy shit! Neat. Yeah, you got power. You got cables. Got a, a copper tool. You've got skills that you upgrade via points when you level up. Wow. That's all based off of skills now, basically. There's still uh, plans or recipes you can find, but you can you can get like cement, and steel, and all cement and all that stuff by upgrading your points. Cool. Mini bike is still in there, um, and they got a composite boat now for the game. So it sounds like they got a lot of shit running that they were working yeah. on for a long time. That was running late, wasn't it? I believe so, yeah. They were also they also have traders in the game now as well. So, you know those casino caps you used to scrap for iron and stuff? Uh vaguely. Um they're used as money now for the traders. Oh cool. Yeah, it's pretty good. The game looks good, but we need kind of a Beastly computer to run out of sometimes. Yeah, pretty much every game's like that now. Or it's getting to that point anyway. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I stopped playing Ark. I couldn't stand it. Are they getting bad? Uh, well, they just released. They're in the process of releasing the game, and they upped the price to sixty bucks. Are you serious? Yeah. That is not a sixty-dollar game. Uh, they did just recently re release a, a new DLC for free this time, not 20 bucks like the Scorched Earth one. Oh, how generous. It has, yeah, it has the same content as Scorched Earth, only it's a different map. Uh, it's called Ragnarok, I think. Hmm. Uh, but it's still the same exact game. It still has performance, still has bugs, you know, that issue. And, uh, <clears throat> and they're going to 
to sell it for 60 bucks. I think they've already upped the price, actually. That's ridiculous. Check. That was such... People are up our about that one. <clears throat> yeah, they... I hope... I don't know. I hate to wish ill of something like this, but I, don't, I really hope it bombs if they're going to charge that much for it. Uh, yep, right now it is 60 bucks on Steam. Fuck. So that was such a dick move. They hadn't even finished the game or got it out of early release, and they, they release a four-money DLC. Yep, halfway through. Uh, some people are saying they released it because of um, a sue. They, they got into a court battle of some sort, I guess where they were sued money and they had to spend like 40 mil or something like that. I'm not sure how accurate that is. This is just, you know, what I've read. You know, internet speech. You take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. Uh, so... And that's... They said that's why they released the DLC, but they say that's not the case, so... Oh, what, so they got sued or something, pissed away 40 million, and they had to sell DLC to keep going? I think so. That's what some people are saying. Like I said, that's kind of like you have to take that with a grain of salt. They said apparently, quote, uh, a quote that that was not the case, but people are saying it is. Uh, but, yep, it is currently, uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. If you get the Survivor's Pack, which is Scorched Earth and Ark Survival, it's 67, almost 68, it's 68 bucks on the game right now for both. That's such a slap in the face. Kinda is, yeah. You, know. you know, the other one that did that that kind of pissed me off was uh, uh, Fortress Craft. Fortress Craft did that? Yeah, it's still uh, it's still in early access. This was like last year, and he did a, a, a DLC for pay. Oh. And that terrible. that pissed some people off like too. Five bucks, huh? Yeah, but I mean, yeah. still, it's early access. What the? Your game's not even finished, and you're charging people for DLC to add stuff to it? Kind of a, just a bit of a dick move. Uh, you know, it, it's in the eye of the beholder, right? I um, if I remember people. correctly from reading that stuff, it wasn't, um... The way he described it was the main game is finished, and he's working on the expansion. And once it's done, it'll go out for free, but you're paying for early access to the expansion. Yeah, that's... I think Cowie um, explained it. Yeah, that's still bollocks. <laughs> it's just... Um, that kind of is a little bit on the weird side. <laughs> it, it, it Then take your game out of early access, and then... Yeah. You know, Put the that's... DLC in early access. Right. I don't think it's just going to let you do that. No, but... You know, if the game is done, release it instead of an early game, and then then do the DLC and sell it, right? Yeah, that'd be how I'd do it. It just comes across as a cash grab. You know, haha, we sold you the game cheap, but it's not finished. You gotta pay again to get the rest. But, I don't know. People see it differently. Yep. Like, for example, uh, I'll take give you another example. Elite Dangerous. Uh... Oh yeah. The game when it first came out on early access, I think was around ninety dollars, a hundred dollars, something like that. Was it? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, it was around that range, and that, I think that was an alpha. Then it got cheaper in beta to about seventy, I think. And then the retail price was dropped even further, I think, to fifty or forty, something like that. Okay, that's kind of weird too. Planetary Annihilation did that too, if I remember correctly. It's like eighty bucks, or maybe that is Planetary Annihilation. I'm thinking of that did that. I don't know. It's one of those two. <laughs> Planetary Annihilation, I think, was the one that did that. But it, it was something like that. It's regardless of the game, the price was up, skyrocketed in alpha stage, and dropped in beta. Then retail is the cheapest. Yeah. That's just sort of a, a fuck you to the early adopters. Uh, in some cases, yeah. I kind of agree. But at the same time, I kind of agree that, you know, if you want to pay it to get into it, you know, you're free to do so. Yeah, I suppose so. It's like the star <laughs> citizen model. If you, you got more money to burn than cents, then feel free. Star Citizen, yeah, the game that will never go out of alpha. Yeah, that game's never coming out. There's, it's oh, it's doomed. 
It's at 140 million, I think, right now. And they're in. They're having trouble. Are they really? I heard something about them not having. Um, um the co- uh, Foundry 42, the company that's or the. Yeah, the company that's doing the single player, the Squadron 42 campaign, because uh-huh. they've got like the Chris Roberts game group of companies, and then you got one company making the actual main MMO and one making the single player campaign. <laughs> the one making the single player campaign needed to get a loan. That, that was, was it. Effectively in advance on their tax return, um, and they um, put up the game as collateral. No oh, shit. You're telling me 140 people donated to this. 140 million dollars was donated to this game, and they had to. Wow. They had to borrow money to make payroll. That's fucking crazy. How much are they pay in there? I mean, I understand that programmers need to get paid for their work. Of course, it's like any job you need to get paid, but 140 million. That's <laughs> they have a high team of like. Well, they've got. People. They've got. Com- They've got a uh, setups because they've got Austin, I think, maybe Houston. I think they've got a place in LA. Um, they've got a place in the UK. They might have more places elsewhere. They've got tons of programmers, tons of um, artists. Wow. They've got all of those um, celebrities that they got doing voice acting and mocap. You give somebody a huge budget, they'll find a way to piss it away. I guess so, yeah. because if you've got that many people working on a game, you'd think it'd be... You know. Well, they're also doing a massive game with a lot of new technology. Sure, but the, if you can't hit the finish line, it doesn't... If it's not finished, they're not going to make any money out of it once it's... I don't know. They also kept stacking more goals on themselves to, yeah. to keep paying them. I mean, if I remember correctly, they're still selling, like, packages for three grand. Uh-huh. People are probably still buying them. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's people still buying them. Every time a Star Citizen, a new module for Star Citizen comes out, I see it just pasted all over YouTube, so... That's how I keep track of how it's progress. <laughs> yeah, I just think that, uh... I don't. I don't see that game coming out of development hell. Mm-mm. I don't either. And it sucks because it could be an amazing game. Chris Roberts was, you know, his his early stuff was great. Yeah. Cut my teeth on Wing Commander. But some of his stuff weren't that great either. Yeah. Some of his stuff that he got kickstarted, he didn't come through for. So. Yeah, it's one of those things you cross your fingers that it's not going to go the way you think it's going to go, but then... Yeah, that, that's why I'm kind of worried about a game that I saw. I, I hope it gets... I hope it eventually comes out. But it's called... Uh, it's a new MMO that's going to come out called Ashes of Creation, I think. Okay. It's Ashes of Creation. And it's supposed to do a, a kind of a... Not revolution, revolutionized stuff, but... It kind of changes the way you do things. So basically, the more players that do stuff around a certain node builds up the central town for that node. So the town levels up. Oh. And you can start trading with other nodes that other players have built up. Or you can go choose to take over the territory. So basically, it concentrates players in the certain nodes that they build up. And it forces, you know, it does trading, and then it does, I'm guessing, warfare. I don't know, I only saw some base videos well, on it. Kind of, um, player factions? Kind of, yeah, except it's node versus node type. Hmm. It's supposedly, it's supposed to have the same type of stuff that EverQuest Next was supposed to be. I remember that. I think. I don't know, I'll see if I can find a website for EverQuest Next. That was a. That one made me sad. I, I also my first MMO was uh, EverQuest, so it's kind of following that with interest too. But yeah. Yeah, I was kind of looking forward to that one as well, but it it just failed. It just it got closed mainly because of the developers that were doing it. Honestly, I think it was there. I think that was the the problem major. Yeah. The major. 
There's a link in general there oh. for the website itself. Take a gander at it. It looks interesting. I really hope it takes off, but they're not going to have a workable alpha until 2018 at the end of the year. Jeez. Just finished Kickstarter. It just finished. Wow. They were expecting 750,000. I think they got 3.7 mil. <laughs> well, hopefully they manage it better than Chris Roberts. <laughs> right? I'm hoping. I, I'm really hoping and looking forward to this particular uh, this game because it looks very, very good. It's it's kind of sandboxy, but your work in the environment, whether it's crafting, whether it's fighting, whether it's doing whatever, will help your node city hmm. but if you choose to stay in that node. Yeah. So, I, I think it'll be a really interesting go if it ever takes off, and I hope it does. Yeah, it sounds like an interesting idea. Yeah, they do have a, at least a working base. <clears throat> I know that much, because they've shown actual gameplay videos of it. Very minor stuff, but yeah, there's uh, there's sieges. You can siege the cities. You can protect caravans or form caravans, that type of thing. So. Cool. Mm -hmm. And it'll be subscription-based, not free-to-play. Well, I'm not sure how much of a bonus that. Well, I guess it keeps out freeloaders, but. Well, that and it, it also is, keeps a steady income for the game. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, you don't have games like Arch Age, you know, that are nickel and diming you for the same type of gameplay, you know. Yeah. Whereas a subscription is still known to work, except very few games can still utilize it. Like World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy XIV, Eve. <laughs> Eve. Yep, Eve is another one. Where can I get basic module boards? What the hell's a phenolic board? Ferret chlora? What the? Every fucking thing in this. Mod pack needs you need eight billion chemicals from all these dozens of fucking machines and all to make one little tiny circuit that plugs into the left nut of this robot. <laughs> all right, so he was uh, Revlo was mucking around making all this stuff because he he conjured a bunch of speed modules. Guess I figure out where he did that. I'm halfway done with the mod pack, yay. <laughs> I feel bad. I mean, I'm, I'm getting tired. I gotta, like, quit soon, but you guys haven't even gotten in to see this. No. Oh, well, there's always next times, right? No clue what to do. Well, I'm gonna leave the server up, too, of course, so you're welcome to mus muck around. I've never seen most of these ones. Yeah, it's. Uh, have you played Factorio at all? Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, if you pull up screenshots, I uh, DM'd you some, or pull up Discord, I DM'd you some screenshots. Oh, I see. Yeah. Wow, that's a hell of a base too. Okay, then yeah, this is just. It's just, I play mainly vanilla. I've never played with any of these models. Right, yeah. It Neither took. It, it takes a while to get used to all this shit. Um, best thing to do is just kind of look around and see how things are being done. Um, and try not to build any pipes over roads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that annoys Revlo. Yes, it does. Um, I think the next thing I'm trying to build... or. Uh, Probably the next goal is speed modules, and uh, what was the other thing? Damn it, it's gone. How big is the map, by the way? Like twelve megs, I think. Oh wow! Okay. Let me double check. Uh, I I was thinking space wise. Is there a lot of space to go start your own thing, or is there... oh hell yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's tons of space. And plenty of resources, too. So if you want to, yeah, just wander off your own part of the map and go for it. Uh, there are no aliens, so it's a peaceful map. Oh, okay. And there goes my tank uh, like, uh, <laughs> genocide thing. That's down there. We have a tank. <laughs> <clears throat> it 
It's uh, bottom right. But of course. You should see it on the map once. Or, yeah, you're almost in anyway. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you're catching up next. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, except his is going faster. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> He's not catching up as much, I don't think. Welcome. Oh, balls. Desync. <laughs> desync, desync. We all fall down. Yeah, the the one the weirdest thing in this mod pack is that you will not find any ore on the ground except this purple stuff. And everything all the different ores and materials get made out of that by different mechanisms of refining. I guess the map is now 73 megabytes. Holy shit. Hmm, <laughs> now I'm catching up. Yeah, I have your uh I have your stream up right now. Doop. Right now. I was trying to check it out, see what all's there. Oh no, poor rage. <laughs> Got to re-download again. Oh. Let me just go back to AI work. Why the fuck did this desync? This is so stupid. Because Factorio is still in beta and has lots of weird, stupid bugs. <laughs> Especially when you throw in dozens of mods. Yeah. I'm getting close to my screen to look at you. It's probably the mods. <laughs> I do have it in my head to go start up another server that's just running vanilla with a few, like, like loaders, warehouses, Factorissimo, because that's just fun. That's where you... That base map would be cool, too. Um, oh, with aliens? Yeah, with aliens. Ugh, I hate playing those maps. Do you? <laughs> well, I always get my ass beat. I don't like losing games. <laughs> I, I was just thinking about, you know... The picture if you need a confidence like, boost, I'll send you my save file. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking of like four or five people just lining up a tank and just firing at once. <laughs> that popped in my head. Okay, that could be kind of fun. <laughs> sorry, that that's from my uh, times with uh, Warband, or sorry, uh, Mountain Blade. Uh, I remember Mountain that game. Bands. And the Nepal, uh, uh, what's, how do I pronounce Holy that? Honor. Yeah, uh, mod where you lined up and you fired <laughs> up like a hundred people. It was a great time. It really was. Yeah. And my, my, your Twitch stream to me is just dying for some reason. Oh, you're trying to download the map and watch the stream? I'm trying to still download the mod and drop the uh, draw, uh, watch the stream, and that that doesn't work. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. Well, yeah, I should probably wrap up for the night anyway. Uh, you're welcome to keep trying. Hey, I see you. Yay. Flashius just got in too. Oh, Hello. I'm gonna definitely keep downloading this mod pack. Don't know if I'll play tonight. <laughs> I gotta help uh, my wife uh, finish the last mission in Stormblood, so I'm Final Fantasy, so. Ah, cool. Well. Oh. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. <laughs> well, guys, I think I'm gonna bail. Um, I'm tired. Right. I need to eat dinner and go to bed and do all those grown up things. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thanks for playing along, or at least trying. <laughs> Conversation was decent, at least. Yeah, it's fun talking to you, finally. Yeah. I'll probably be streaming tomorrow. Probably going to do some Wildlands instead, though. Need to change a pace. But, uh, yeah, I will definitely uh, be around tomorrow, so thanks again, guys. For those watching, hope you enjoyed the stream. Thanks for keeping me company. And until next time, take care, everybody. Have a good one. Yep, you too. Better.